I won't want blue up there though. I may pick something completely different. Here we are back in Carol's studio upstairs, in, indoors. And Carol, what are you doing now to this piece? Um, it's just about ready for the last touches. And I have protected the sections of red that I want to stay the color that they are, but I am going to actually paint on dye onto parts of it now to change it for the last finishing touch, and then we will go and iron it out. For smaller areas, I, I do find it kind of fun painting the wax in on in, on, and around. And I've always had a weakness for dark blues and the lines, because they bring out the lines in the batik. I love the way the wax and dyes line up next to one another as the process goes on. So there's a lot of resist and that's where the wax is, is that correct? Yes. The only places that can turn this dark are where I paint it on and there is no wax. And there are those spots and they're kind of interesting to me. They, this brings out the quality of the wax that I really enjoy. And is it a surprise when you when you iron these out? Is it yeah, it is. It is a surprise. I love the surprise to it. Now I told Maria that um, this batik is actually. I'm working on it together, but it's meant to be two separate batik. I will probably cut the cow image from the top away from the bottom image with the landscape of the trees before I'm finished. Do you often work like that? With painting on like this? Uh, no, where you'll have two oh, different images. Um, with small batik, I do. But with large ones, of course, they take up so much room on my table that I, I couldn't if I wanted to. <laughs> but for small ones, I've done that a few times. And also, when I get too small, I can't attach the image to the stretching table, stretching right. bars. Okay, I don't think I want the... Um, blue dye up in the top where the sun is, I think it's much too deep, so I'm going to do something that I would do when I paint on wax, is to rub that area and get the extra dye off and get the uh, dye rubbed in deeply into the cheek. This always reminds me of doing a printmaking. Yes. Etching. Yeah. Which I used to do a lot. Did you? And I think the etching, doing the etchings helped me um, to do batik because with printmaking you have to think of the negative space. And with batik and the wax you're working with the negative space. Absolutely. Yeah. That looks so beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Look at that.